of Avenida Houston. Now we have a great looking day out there. I love having some clouds around today. From a grassroots movement that's helping seniors to a pirate themed gala, come on. That's helping pets, Arr. Do you see the latest <laughs> pirate movie? It's rated R. That's your joke for the day. Eyes on Houston got inside some of this week's hottest, this weekend's hottest events. Take a look. Exercise on the playground isn't just for kids anymore. At least that's what one Houstonian hopes to prove with a new grassroots movement, the Great Age Movement. What is the Great Age Movement? The Great Age Movement essentially is designed to create social opportunities for seniors. And our first initiative is to build senior playgrounds. They're very popular in Europe, they're very successful, and we want to bring that to our community. I think it's a, a clear pathway from senior living centers, from people's homes, to re-engage people in our community and give them new life. My buddy Fritz has some pretty big names with him on this effort, including Gordon Bethune, former CEO of Continental Airlines, the gorgeous Carmen Delorfis, the oldest working supermodel, and another good friend of mine, Dr. Carolyn Farb, who has set the standard for philanthropy. The inaugural jazz luncheon had people fly in from across the country and was a packed crowd of who's who opening their pocketbooks and learning about volunteer opportunities. For more information, you can visit thegreatage.org. From parks to pirates, Eyes on Houston was there this week. We're at the Bayou City Event Center here in Houston, Texas, and we're raising money for citizens for animal protection. Um, it's sort of an unusual theme I see that you're dressed in, so tell me about, tell me about the attire. Who picked this theme for tonight? Well, we have an amazing uh, leader, Hershey Grace, who really picked the theme this year. It's pirate themed, it changes every year, and everybody's done a really great job of really fitting the theme. Cap is very important because it's been around since 1971, and it grew from a little 10-person camping trailer to a $10 million, $10 million facility. We adopt hundreds of animals out a year, we take in hundreds of animals a year, and because it's at gills and, and, and events like this, we're able to raise enough money so that we don't have to say no. This annual birthday bash and pet parade has been going on since 1995. It features a fun, lively crowd and one of the best silent auctions in town. This year, there was everything from sports memorabilia to a lot, and I mean a lot, of Louis Vuitton items, which, as we all know, is one of my secret weaknesses. After doing my darndest to bring home a few more items to add to my collection, I got to catch up with some of the guests. I hear you're turning 30, is that right? Oh, she just recoiled back. Never ask a lady her age. Lucy, who's the biggest here tonight? How does it feel to be like the most pampered feline in the whole place? But it was the night's honoree, Cherry Whitley, who summed up the evening best. So everybody here is an honoree in my opinion because everybody is here for the love of animals. For more information about Citizens for Animal Protection, you can visit CAPS, the number four, pets.org. And Michael Pierce with Eyes on Houston is joining us now. Okay, such very, very different events. Let's talk first of all, let's go back to that great age movement. Yeah. I kind of really love this senior playground nowhere else in the United States, right? Absolutely. There's nowhere in the United States. In fact, in the package you saw in there was actually the Vale Ash playground where uh, doc Dr. Karen Farber, my husband, built that for disabled children. But it was a great way to show how Houstonians see a need and gather the money and will place the playgrounds. The great age movement wants are slightly different and in fact at that event they raised enough money to start building the playground so they're in talks right now with Houston to see about where we're going to have one of these and it's an ingenious idea yeah like, seniors need exercise but they need specific exercise for the movements and that's well, like Chris motion said. is lotion so you got to keep moving we all want to have fun motion is lotion yeah, right. you got to keep moving so, so the location is yet to be determined as you mentioned yes, they're going to their idea is to raise several throughout Houston for the first one uh, it's a matter of working with the parks department finding out the best fit so they're working on that right now Wow, very cool. Very I had cool. no idea that was even a thing. I didn't either. Now, moving on to the pet event. First of all, I love a great theme party. I love the pirate theme. It was very, very cool. But also, uh, one of the reasons why this group does 
the event at this time of year is I understand shelters have a greater need during the summer because so many it's folks hot. leave Houston and leave their pets in shelters. Well, it's true. And the other reason is during the fundraising season right now, everything is dead. Anybody who has any money, it goes away to the summer houses. So all of the charity events stop right now. And that's when shelters and other people have the biggest need. And then people are abandoning pets. And I love CAT because they take all types of pets. It doesn't matter if you've uh, an angry dog, you could have a pit bull that's bitten people, they will rehabilitate them, or a wounded animal, or a lizard, or a pig, any type of animal they will take. So they're a unique shelter that grew out of a, uh, out of a, uh, no, a minivan. Well, it looked like a very fun party. you got to love a good theme party, especially when it's pirates. Well, I loved everything except I didn't get that Louis item. Bill King outbid me for that. And Bill King, I'm going to find you and get that item back. <laughs> now, Liz, this event also uh, raised money that will help open a brand new clinic that's opening in yes. September. They're very excited. They have a brand new clinic being opening up. They have a new vet coming in to help with spaying and neutering, as well as all of those injured animals that are coming in. So they're expanding, which is phenomenal for them. So it was a big, proud moment they got to celebrate and, uh, and costumes. Who does and love a crazy costume. You had a busy weekend. I always do. That's why I always do. And then I get to come share it with you guys. Yeah. A lot of fun. All right. Well, Michael Pierce, thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, thanks Did you like my pirate joke, by the way? I loved it. I want to hear the ARG again. Come on. Come on. So, so again, if you want to tell your friends, did you see the latest pirate movie? It was rated ARG. It's good, right? <laughs> Okay, Michael, thank well, you. you can tell that to your four or five-year-old, and they'll, you know, they'll enjoy it as well. I thought it was great. Yeah. I thought it was great. <laughs> All, right. All right, thank you, Michael. Always great to see you. For more information, you can visit Click.